It was an exciting day of softball on day three of the Horizon League Softball Championship at the Youngstown State Softball Complex in Youngstown, Ohio. Let's get you caught up on how everything happened in the first game. It was Robert Morris against Cleveland State. Robert Morris got things started early in this one took the early lead. Cleveland State, though, again, they came charging right back in it. The difference of the game, though, came in the fourth inning. The two-run homer by Charlotte Grover, and that's what made it 3-1, to one, put Re Robert Morris on top, but then Cleveland State came right back, got a run of their own in the fourth. Then we pick up action in the seventh inning. Three runs batted in on the day. Meadow Sacadora ends up driving home Two of them, that scores Erica Bell and Elena Kutza Johnny. And the next thing you know, it's Robert Morris leading by three. They would go on to win five to two. Now we go into game number two. Oakland University, the favorite to win this because they are the top seed. They get things done early on in the fourth, take the lead. Then in the fifth inning, base hit up the middle. Scores one, and then they get more action done. They would put on two hits in the fifth inning, tack on another one, get two runs in the fifth, take a 3-0 lead. Then a short rally by Northern Kentucky, but really the story of the day was Sydney Campbell. She was wheeling and dealing all afternoon, a complete game pitching performance by her. She gets her 22nd win of the season. Then in our final game of the day, Northern Kentucky against Robert Morris. We were scoreless until the fourth, where both teams find a way to get in the scoring column and score a run there to be tied up at one. But the difference was in the sixth inning, where Lauren Hicks, unfortunately for her, threw two wild pitches. That allowed Elena York to go to third. Then this play at the plate, the catcher, Maddie Lacer, unable to hang on to the ball. York scores from third. And that puts Robert Morris ahead, two to one. And then the winning play done there by Taylor Reinhardt. She ends up getting three outs in the seventh to secure the win. So it is Oakland and Robert Morris in the championship game Saturday morning at 10 a.m. If Robert Morris, with one loss in this tournament, finds a way to win and beat Oakland, then we would have an if necessary game set to start around 12.30. But it is Oakland and Robert Morris playing at 10 o'clock Saturday morning for the Horizon League Softball Championship. And we will have it all for you right here on ESPN+.